Hey, what's up? It's JB here again. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a, um, a SpaceX Falcon 9 um, rocket in Blender. Um, this tutorial is based off of Alpha Cinema's tutorial. I'll link to his channel and his videos in the description. Um, he, he went way more in depth than I did. This is just going to be a quick and dirty way of making the, um, the rocket. So let's go and get started. I'm going to go ahead and delete the default cube along with the camera. Press Shift A and then I'm going to add in um, an image. Uh, your reference image. I also have a link in the description to get this picture. It's just a simple rocket. It's just a reference image you can easily get in the, um, yeah. Just click the link and download it. Press Alt R, press 1, R, X, and 19 to stand it up on the uh, on the x-axis. Press 1 again. This will be our reference, so let's go ahead and uh, make the actual the actual spaceship. Press Shift A and then go under Mesh and select a cylinder. I'm going to go ahead and make the vertices 200. That way it's much more uh, smooth on the sides. You may want to right click and select Shade Smooth. Go over here to the Normals. Select Normals and then go to Auto Smooth. And that'll give a nice surface. Let's go ahead and scale it down. Way down. To about the size of the, or to about the radius of the of the rocket. Then we're going to scale on the Z axis. So just move it up until you're satisfied with how high it is. In reference to where that is and where this is. So I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it about here. And then I'm going to press tab and then um, press Z and 4. That makes the viewport uh, wireframe. Um, and just select this area here. Press E and move it down again. And then we're going to size it up some, like that. I'm going to press E again, move it down, and then move it in. Press Control R for loop cut, and then move it upward. Something like that. There we go. I just want a basic shape here. Nothing complicated, just pretty simple. Alrighty, I'm going to go up to the top here and then um, line this up um, to where it should be. Press E, move up some, scale it up a little bit, and then, um, yeah, we're going to press E again, move it all the way to the top, scale it down to zero, and then we're going to press uh, Control R, and then just scale this one outward. Press Control R over here. Scales went outward. We're just trying to give the basic shape of the of the of the rocket here. So I'm gonna keep doing this. There we go. That's it. Yeah. Nothing complicated. Keep um, repeating that process. Okay. If you want it to be smoother, you can just press Control B, and then um, that will add just a little bit and scale that or some. It's pretty simple. It's, yeah. There we go. Okay. I'm pretty satisfied with that. You can always check it like this to make sure it looks good. This is definitely a little bit uh, edgy. Like I said, Alpha Cinema's channel, in his video, he went um, a lot more smooth than this. I'm just trying to make it uh, quick and easy. Once you have the texture onto it, you really can't notice the, um, the edges here. All right, let's make some engines. Press Shift A, add in a, um, a cylinder, scale it way down. Maybe want to shade smooth, and then go to the auto smooth. There we go. Scale it way down. Let's move it down on the Z axis. Then scale it down some. Let's move it to the proper position, right here. Scale it down some, and then go to edit mode, Z then four wireframe. Then we're gonna select these vertices, and then just get them to be the right, um, yeah, to make the right shape. So nothing complicated, just really quick and easy. There we go. Looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and uh, yeah, go to the bottom side here. Then go back to um, Solid View, uh, press Tab, then select Face Select Mode, select the, um, the face, press X and delete faces, select at least the actual face. You may want a little bit of distance between the outside and the inside, so we're going to go ahead and hit the little tool here, and select a Solidify Modifier, and just put a little bit of thickness on it, like that. Select Apply, and then you have your engine. And one other thing you probably want to do is, is just get rid of this reference image for now, so just select it, and then press the I. Then we can get to work on this. So I'm gonna press seven, then nine, and that goes us to bottom view. And then we're going to select it, Shift D, X, move it to the other side, just like that. I'm gonna select both of them by pressing Shift and then select this one. Press um, Shift D, then R, then 90. Then um, Shift D, then R, and move it over a little bit. Press Shift D, R, then 90 again, and then select one of them. Press Shift D, then hit Y, and move it down to about center. That's gonna be your engines, pretty easy. And then, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get some material on this rocket. So as you can see, looks pretty good. I think we did pretty well on it. 
Um, let's go ahead and go to the empty and then put it back in. So as you can see, we need to have some material on it. Now the cool thing is the fact that you can put this material on here. It's pretty easy. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete it real quick. And just like this, press one, press tab, then A to have it all selected. Then we're going to go ahead and press U, then um, project from view right here. Let's go to the to materials, select new material. I'm gonna go to the base color and make it an image texture. Let's open the same texture that we used earlier. This this uh yeah the rocket. Open it up and um, yeah let's go ahead and hit the uh, render view. See what it looks like. And as you can see we're um, definitely not definitely not correct. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the UV editing right over here and then we're going to select this by pressing A. Then scale it way up. We're gonna scale it to the correct dimensions and then just line it up with the rocket. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go with that. And go back to layout and see how it looks. There you go. That's pretty much it. That's how you do it. Also, you may wanna go to the actual material settings here, then turn the tile value up a little bit, turn the reference value all the way down. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, another thing you may also want is um, these edges down here. Go ahead and give them an actual material. So. Um, Go ahead and select all of them. Go ahead and material, select new, and give them a, a darker color. And then bring the metallic value all the way up and the reference value down to a little bit. And that'll give you the end the um, yeah the engines. Looks pretty good. We want to give it a slightly darker color. There we go, looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, to join these two pieces, we're going to select both cylinders. Right, you're holding on the shift, press the other one. And then we're going to press Ctrl J to join it into one, into one piece. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if y'all did, please like and subscribe. Also, check out Atlas Cinema's channel. The link is in the description. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.